Uh, good morning, everyone. Well, it's about 7 a.m. on a Saturday morning. We're gonna rise and grind this morning. Make a little house call. I've got a friend of mine with a crack problem and he wants me to go diagnose it. But on a serious note, he does have an issue. He runs some dump trailers and he's got some cracking happening. He wants me to come out there and see what the deal is if we can't fix it. I've got the ESA Volt. It's gonna be real handy for this job. Got nothing but battery packs going out. We're going somewhere where I probably can't run a cord and I don't have a mobile machine, but it's about as mobile as it's gonna get for me. From the pictures, I don't think we're gonna need more than this many batteries, but we should be ready to well. Let's get out there. You know, there's some other stuff to talk about when you're doing some side work or whatever, and that's kind of how you go about bidding it, or a lot of people have that kind of question is what does it cost? There really is no easy answer. Really is what is it worth to you is the easy answer, I guess, for me. And expectations, letting the customer know what's gonna happen, the process of you coming out there. For me, I gotta drive an hour one way to get to this spot. They're gonna pay me for that, not only for my time, but for my fuel. What if I get out there and it ends up being something that I'm not gonna be able to handle, then I'm out, you know? It's almost like a down deposit in a sense. My drive time counts, my hourly rate counts, and your hourly rate, I really don't know a good way to explain it. It kinda really depends on where you're at, what you're doing. Welding over the crack, no matter how good you think you welded the crack, you still stress that metal out and it, letting the customer know this may crack again. We didn't fix it, we patched it, we put a band-aid on it. Now that band-aid could last for weeks, months, years, who knows? But the cracks can come back. So eliminating the cracks altogether by cutting out a section is really the best bet from what the pictures he showed me. It might end up being a cutout situation, but you gotta get out there and figure it out and diagnose it. Well, one thing you cannot charge the customer for is when you forget the freaking leads. And now I gotta turn around and go back home and pick up the freaking welding leads. Uh, I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached to me. me turn around. I literally forgot a set of leads and a welding hood. I wish I was kidding. All right, I think I got everything. All right, so we're here. I definitely underestimated what he was talking about. He told me it was a dump trailer, not a whole freaking dump truck, which is fine, no big deal. Uh, got all the tools. I managed to pack two pairs of gloves, but I forgot to bring a hood and leads. That's ironic, it's so weird. I got some drill bits to stop some cracking, some grinders, some drill, batteries, more batteries, batteries in here. We're running off of nothing but batteries. I hope it's gonna be enough. This is the damage. He, he left me enough room to work, so that's nice. Got a nice spacious area. This kind of moves, but you know, the nice pile of dirt right here stops it because I've got to come in here oh, and fix this. From this door, we've got this crack. This is lifted up, so we'll have to clean that out, kind of see it, and then it goes down through here, so. I messed up guys. I should have brought some clamping, some hammers. I should have brought some other tools. Kind of messed up. If I had a hammer though, I feel like I could get by. I got to find something. I got to find something that I could hammer with. I couldn't find any hammers. I went into the buddy's back shed and he had all kinds of tools. Not a single hammer, but I did find a shovel. It can make my bed a lot comfier. So we'll start there. This is lame. I didn't know I was gonna have to shovel stuff. That's typical welder. That might be enough room to start grinding. Maybe build myself some steps. I'm just kidding. Start by giving everything a nice wire wheel. I gotta lay down. I don't wanna lay down. <laughs> Okay, 
Let's give you guys a better look at this. So they've got this one splitting off, which makes this piece kind of uneven right here. Got some spider cracks coming out. And then of course this long guy going all the way out to here. And if we look under here, this is, I don't know if that was, that wasn't a ridge, that's not a crack. They just had this tacked at some point. This was just, so we'll put a weld on there. We'll try to line this up best we can. And then, I don't know if you can see that. We gotta close, try to close all this up and my dumbass forgot to bring a clamp or hammer or nothing. So I'm trying to make do with some redneck ingenuity maybe. We're gonna start by drilling at the end of each one of these more for me knowing where the end is and then after that we'll get in there with the with a grinding disc a hard rock oh this stuff is like hard who would have thought the dump trailer has some hard s steel mm, come on Is, I don't have any cutting fluid or nothing. Golly! Okay. That's the second bit we broke. Uh, improvise, adapt, overcome. We're just going to grind it all. Woo, 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 woo. Now, before we get to grinding into this stuff and kind of grooving it up, ready to weld, or just, we got to line it all up first. So, my plan is I found some pipe wrenches and we'll take it. I can do it again. And then I can, you can see I could pull that pipe wrench and get that lined up. And we'll give her a little tack and we'll try to beat and line things up first before we do any kind of grooving and gouging so that it's all flattish. I don't know if, if we can't close the gap, we're gonna fill the gap. Bump this baby on. Is it on? Oh no, please oh. Hold it down. There we go, sweet, all right. It got me worried for a second. <laughs> I just set this thing up for 7018, 332s. Oh, no. Why are you doing that? Don't shut down. I thought for sure we were freaking toast, but it was just because I hit this, this power button twice, it just turned on and off. I was like, man, that sucks. So anyway, we're good. We're Gucci. We're groovy. We're moving. I got to figure out how to process. We're going to stick with stick. Arc Force hot start jobs, remote electro. That's what I need to change because we are running some 7018s. That should be good to go. Stick back. We're going to go run some 332s. So let's run 80, 87 ish, 99%. Let's see what we got. Let's see, if we can do this whole job in one, one pack. One thing you should always remember to do is disconnect the battery on anything when you go to welding on it. That's I mean, that's always an uh, important step to take. Also, ground as close as you can to whatever you're working on. You know, other bits and pieces of the vehicle can still get damaged from welding, so we want to try to avoid that, and you can do that just by simply keeping the ground really close. So, let's get this thing lined up. One-handed bandit. Oh. Come on, ground. Beautiful. There might have been a little schmutz. We should have cleaned up before we line that up, but we lined that up really easy. This part right here is what's gonna be harder. I wish I had a hammer or a clamp that I could push down with. I might could use this right here. If I can line this up, I'll be at least happy enough to start grooving and moving. Oh, 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 how am I gonna attack that? How am I gonna attack that? Right through here. Ooh, it's so thin. That is kind of thin. That was a little scary. Another little tacky tack. Probably gonna have to run it so hot. I don't know if I'll even have to groove anything. I want to see if this... Oh man. It's not what a pipe wrench is for. <laughs> the neighbor had a hammer. 
it's a little two pound, but it's better than a pipe wrench. Perfect, that's all. That's all daddy needed. A little bit of this. Oh, oh, oh. Hold that guy. Hold that guy. <laughs> Six days. All right, now we can grind into it, get it a little cleaner so that we can just weld it all up. Okay, so now we just do a little, do a little digging. This stuff is like not even a quarter inch thick. So I'm not gonna do a lot of grinding other than mainly just like knowing where the crack is. I'm gonna grind past that crack and kind of into it. When I start seeing it start being blue and thin, we know that we're getting really thin with the material, but whatever. trying to remove this this weld right through here I just want to remove this little section of it where things are cracked and then you know re-weld this bottom I'll re-weld this this thicker piece and then we'll go about fixing the tops of it and get all the overhead stuff off out of the way first uh, just grind a little bit more just a little bit more all right so we've got this bit lined up we got this bit lined up enough you can what we're gonna do is gonna come through here first from here all the way across where that is this is gonna squirt through and it's gonna pretty much eat away so we turn the machine down to like 78 I hate running that cold but you guys can see this is not super thick this is so we'll turn everything back up turn the beans up here but here and I'd rather it like shoot through and up so I can grind whatever squirts through up here than squirting down so that's kind of the method to the madness right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is squirting right on through. All right, I might need to reevaluate this and do some Texas TIG. I might end up having to do some Texas TIG. We're gonna turn it back up. We're gonna get some filler rod and bust the flux off and use it as a TIG electrode because it's just so, there's a, still a crack. And I wanna kind of cover that with something. Just try this again. Oh, there's dirt in my head. This time, we can take one electrode, get all the flux off of it. Use it as kind of a consumable insert. One way shared before. In this case, we've already thrown out the whole pretty concept. Come on, Austin. That's not how you Texas TIG or how our friends south of the border call it Heliarch Al Carbone. It's not how you do that. Let's try that again. New rod, fresh rod. The trick is not to get pissed off. It's working, sort of. We're having fun, Mexican Heliarkin. Atlanta. All right. Uh, this is going to be one of those situations where you weld a little, grind a little. Weld a little, grind a little. We were just eating through the top of this plate here, which is no fun. Um, but the crack is the crack that was running across. 
it's getting filled in. We got a couple little holes to keep trying to fill up. Weld a little, grind a little. Weld a little, grind a little. Not expecting perfection, just get some metal in there. Cover the hole, cover the hole. Next hole, cover the hole. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Just keep pushing, just keep pushing. Ah! Watch out for those spicy bits. Just keep grinding in well. Get that new rod, that fresh rod feel. Just shoving it, just shoving some electrodes to sink some heat away from that edge. Hey, get off my grinder. Oh, big old boogers on my grinder. We'll let that cool off, let's go over here. Ugh. I'm gonna turn that hot start up or something. We're gonna put the ugly on it first, or what I like to call the trash pass. Grind all that out. Oh my gosh, it blew straight through. It blew straight through this thin stuff. Again, just trying to use this other electrode to add metal to where there's no metal. This stuff is way thinner than I thought. Luckily, we keep sticking electrodes, keep sticking these electrodes and getting us more TIG filler. This stuff is thin, way thinner than I anticipated. Aiming for the top of that, literally just the electrode, not the base metal. Trust me, it's it's sinking in there. It doesn't have a choice. Go a little bit over here. Just gotta get creative with it. Oh man, oh man. One good thing is we know that we're gonna get some good penetration on this thin material. It don't have a choice. Let's clean it up. Grind a little, weld a little. Weld a little, grind a little. Swap over to the wire wheel for just a moment. Get all the slag out of the way so we get a better view. I love this bed that my buddy made me. This bed of dirt is actually kind of nice. Lovely, lovely. Okay, I'll switch over to the grinding disc. Again, still not worried about the top. We only put this stuff on here because we wanted something to push through the bottom so that I could have something to weld against because if there was holes already there, I was just going right up through it. All right, we just did some grinding a little. Do some welding a little. I should, shouldn't need filler rod anymore. I have enough material there. I just need to make sure I favor this thicker steel. And not drip any nasty on me. I don't want nasty. Yeah. Nasty. Alright, alright. A little squirt is okay. It just means we're Getting some full pin. Pull. Damn it. Where's my filler at? Mm. I got your number hole. I am the master manipulator ah! of metal. I, 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 weld a little, grind a little. Ow, 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 hot. We got this bottom side, it's, it's filled in, it's blended in. 
Uh, we're going to focus more on the top and then this, this thicker section here. So the welds that we covered in these holes, they, they're not great. So we're going to blend them in, redo our lines a little bit. We have material now underneath. We should be able to weld over top of it. This stuff is real thin, really thin. So I got to be careful. I don't think this was actually ever welded before. So we're going to put a bead on it, maybe groove into it a little bit more. I think that's where the crack really started to happen. It tore in from there up and out everywhere else. Oh, there's a big old gap down here at the bottom, but we gonna do it. I was shaky as hell. You know, at first I was kind of mad about this pile of dirt being here, but it's honestly really, it's good dirt. Ooh. That's as good of a bed as I'll ever have. Kind of dug in, 85 amps. Now we're gonna flatten it up, put a, put a cap on her, see if we'll get an arc shot too. The bottom here still got this big old opening, which is not ideal. I'm gonna try to run another one across here. Yike. <sighs> super worried about this. This stuff is a lot thinner than I'd like. I can already see like trouble problems. I feel like we're gonna have to make sure we have a little bit of filler metal on deck, dab it up or something. I don't know, maybe get a 1 8 I know that sounds crazy, but more metal too might help, but it's only like an eighth of an inch thick. Really, you just gotta get kind of started. So let's just see what happens. I'm gonna work towards the edge. Keep this filler on deck if I start seeing a hole popping. We're gonna push it in. Kind of a downhill weld, I don't really like that, but 718's just running. It looks really hot too. We don't have to run it so hot. on there. Turn it down a little. 78. Let's try that. Be a little bit more modest. Maybe uphill? I don't know. I don't think so. Super tight. Arc length. Try to keep that puddle from running. Because it's going to be running. As it's downhill, we'll probably put like a cat pass or something on it. But... Gonna run a bead on this horizontal weld. It looked the least intimidating. Tell I'm just on some thin metal though. Like I feel like it's a ticking time bomb. Yep, there it is. Started to go through. All right, so back to the ticking business. 
keeping this on deck just in case I see a hole I can just add some of this filler. Oh, I'll take this well to church, man. It is holy. Oh my golly goodness. Yeah, I need this little piece of filler in front of me. I don't know if that's really up to code. I don't really know what it's called. I just know that sound it makes when it wails. Gonna come right across here. Ouch. Ooh. I know that was a bugger. Holy, 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 holy. Holy moly, that last bit we just shoved some iron. We go pee this way. Must be on the back side. Can't see it from my house. Against better judgment, I'm actually gonna weld uphill. Because I don't love welding 7018 downhill. Just makes for a really nasty puddle. Yeah, that's a hole. We gotta keep this filler on deck. Oh my golly goodness. Oh man, it'll shoot. That's fine. That's plenty fine. It's 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 fine. Oh, oh, oh. Ain't no more hole. Hole's gone. 59% uh, battery still with the unit. Got us another big old hole. I love my job. I love my job. Gravity. Oh. Ooh, my knee. This is turned into quite the charade. This is not how I wanted to do this. Stay positive. Stay positive. You're a competent welder. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. You did it! I need mental help. Oh, oh, oh! Daddy has a trick up his sleeve. Start above it, above the big old hole. Add filler to the side. Swoop around, back up. Ooh, that's how you do some dumb stuff. Oh yeah. Something's feeling spicy in my jeans. But it's okay, it ain't too bad. One thing we can know for certain is there is some absolute CJP in these. Oh lord. One more Bobo to fix. Ooh. Definitely take the flux off or you'll make a bigger hole. This is how not to do it. Now that 
is again a good example of some CJP right there. You could probably go to the machine and turn it down a little, that might would help. But it's like so far, it's like way over, way over there. Get them sides back. Hole is no longer there. We are welders. Luckily, the customer wants it all grind, ground off because he doesn't want, you know, obviously stuff hitting it and, uh, you know, making it, having stress risers in the corners of the welder just kind of rip out again if we left it in there. We still got some Parasiti in there and we want to get that out a couple little spots so it might dude it back up and grind it down. But at least for my own dignity, I get to grind, <laughs> grind these welds off. The very least we can do is make the grinding marks look good. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. We got it nice and blended in with the grinder. We've got beads underneath, we fixed the cracks. At least I got the gr grinding looking pretty enough that when the cracks come back, you can find it really easily. The bolt did great. It's still at, what is that? 50%, still got 50% battery. This one battery on my grinder is almost dead. You can imagine why. Give you guys a quick walk around. We got the welds all on, they're blended in. Don't mind that hole that was there before I got here. Oh, <laughs> uh, we put a nice hog right up the top there. We fixed the crack that was underneath. We ground and weld and ground and weld and ground and weld, but I'm gonna miss my bed. So cozy. Psych! Probably nice. A good amount of dirt in this rod box. These are all my, my lone soldiers down here. Those are the ones that didn't make it. They didn't get to turn into whales. Sleep tight, little unit. What? Power system shutting down. Pop that old dog off. Pick up that unit. You want to disconnect all the leads. Yep, yep, mm-hmm. You don't want to disconnect the back here. And these here frontals. That makes it a lot more portable for you. That comes right up. Ugh. That's a pretty sweet little unit there, the bolt. Got the batteries right here. Picks right up. Now I do believe all this happened was from this door right here swinging and him always, you know, banging this door up against the bottom of it here. And this gets beat up a lot. This wasn't even welded before. So it formed a crack and then it split this way and then made it to that little bit of stuff. Now I can tell that it's probably the door problem because if we take a look out here, we've got cracking the welds. Oh, oh the cracking the welds. Um, I mean, I can go around and find little cracks, 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 up here, cracks, cracks, so he's probably going to have to have me come out, back out again, or if he still wants me to after, after that whole fiasco, but hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode, it was fun, uh, I enjoyed it, made a little bit of side money, it's on the dash, I'm going to get, get on out of here, so. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching.